Hi all, this is a quick demo of how to prep a digital image for making into a digital negative for the alternative process of cyanotype. Now that we have this image open in Photoshop, the first thing we want to do is make sure that this image has good density and contrast on its own as a color positive. <clears throat> we can do that by going to image, adjustments, and levels to ensure that it has the right level of brightness and darkness and the right level of contrast. Assuming that it does, we can hit OK and now begin the process of making this image into a black and white negative. First thing we'll do is we'll make this picture into black and white. and We don't want to desaturate the image. We want to use the black and white conversion tool. This will make it a correct black and white so that the different colors in this image will be represented as the right shades of gray. If we go to image, adjustments, black and white, this will allow us to change the image to black and white in a very intelligent way. The preset of default is perfectly good for this process. Now that the image has been turned into black and white, we can now go ahead and invert the image, that is, turn it from a positive into a negative. Again, we can do this under Image, Adjustment, and Invert. Now that we've inverted the image, it is ready to be printed as a negative so that it will come up as a positive in the cyanotype process. That is, the highlight areas will come out as white for the color of the paper base and the shadow areas will come out blue, the color of the cyanotype. Now cyanotype is a particular process that does best with particular kind of negatives. And so there are many curves out there that you can apply to this image in order to have it be best suited for cyanotypes. If I go to image, adjustments, and curves, it will bring up the curves dialog box. Now I don't want to make any manual adjustments here, I just want to open up a file that has, cur that has the curve saved in a certain way as to best benefit cyanotypes. I have that curve file saved on the desktop and I'll provide it on the website right below this video tutorial. In order to apply that curve, we click on the little gear icon and it will say load preset and so we can load a preset. I have this file on my desktop. Again, I will provide this to you so that you can download it from the website and choose it for this process. You can see here that it's jrcyanotype.acv, which is a curve preset. I can select it and click open. That will set this particular curve to my image and will allow it to be best suited for cyanotypes, the alternative process of cyanotypes. I can now click OK and to set that preset curve. Now we have a black and white negative of our original positive color image that we can now print out on a digital negative material. Pictorico is the company that makes the best digital negative material, best to buy uh, printing media that is specially designed for printing digital negatives as opposed to just using some generic transparency material that you might be able to buy at Staples which will not provide you the best results. Best to buy material that is specific for making digital negatives and again the company that I think does the best and is one of the most popular is a company called Pictorico and from there you can buy eight and a half by eleven cut sheets of transparency material specifically made for digital negatives. So the last thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and save this image. I'll go to File and Save As. I don't want to name it, leave it its alphanumeric name, so I will name it flower underscore digital negative to allow me to know that this is ready to be made into a digital negative and I will go ahead and save it. I want to make sure that it's the large file and base light standard format in JPEG, which are generally the best choices 
for JPEG compression. Click OK. Now I've saved this file as something separate from the original so that I won't save over the original with this black and white digital negative. Now it's ready to be printed again on the Pictorico um, transparency material that is specifically made for digital negatives.